Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, I will be doing a paint by numbers. As I said in Tuesday's video, I am bringing you a very, very long video. It's seriously like really, really long, so I hope you guys enjoy it. It's kind of to make up for all the little small videos that I make that are like five minutes long or six minutes long, and this is kind of just to make up for it. As some of you guys know, I think it was in January when I did the 31 one day challenge I ended up doing one paint by numbers and this is the second one that I actually bought the same time that I bought the picture for the paint by numbers that I did for January and I was intended to use this paint by numbers as to do it on live streams when I would live stream but then I felt like it was gonna just take forever for me to finish that up and I decided to turn it into a video so I hope you guys enjoy it and I know I haven't been live streaming for quite a while so I'm sorry for that I hope eventually I can get back to it soon we'll just have to see how everything goes but anyways in this video as I've mentioned I bought this piece and then the other piece that I did in January at the same time. They are I think from different sellers but I did get them in the exact same box. So yeah and one thing that I've noticed is they are literally both packaged the same exact way which is really interesting but with the paints for the paint by numbers that I did in January those paints were kind of almost dried out I mean there was some that were still usable but they most of them a majority of them were pretty much dried out and I would have to water them down they weren't necessarily dried out they were more like I guess hardened but if I were to put water in there they would kind of soften up as with these all the paints in here were great like they were good texture and everything and so that's kind of weird but I guess that's how it goes like I said I, I don't remember if I got them from different sellers or it was the same seller I don't I don't remember <laughs> yeah but in the beginning of the video you guys saw me unpackage it all and you know I, I love unpackaging stuff on camera for you guys and this video isn't I guess I think I mentioned it well no I didn't mention it when did I I'm trying to remember sorry in one of my videos I think I mentioned about me trying to you know get better at recording my videos and with this I was recording it before I ever said that I wanted to make my videos better and so sorry for the lack of you know making this video better it's just literally an overview of what I'm doing and occasionally you'll see kind of side glances yeah and also going back to the I know I'm gonna be going Going kind of back and forth between all of this but going back to the painting that I did in January it was a lot more detailed than this which was kind of interesting like this didn't have as much I guess you could say numbers that you had to like fill out like it little itty bitty places as of with that one there was just so much detail into it so it took a while with this it only took me We'll probably say maybe three days, four days if I were to be working on it for literally 24 hours. So it wasn't long and I feel like that other painting were to take me at least five days. Again, if I were to be working on it for 24 hours. So whew, it was a process, but I really enjoy doing these types of videos, especially a paint by numbers. It's really relaxing. I don't know if you guys enjoy it too, but it really interests me to see how all those little places get filled in with color and it forms a picture. And that's what I really like about paint by numbers.
So for this video, I will be kind of going back and forth between having a voiceover over in some parts and then other parts having videos just because it's such a long video and it's going to take me forever to edit this video and I'm kind of running behind on my editing schedule. I still have to make the thumbnail for this video as well as upload it and as well as upload my Tuesday's video as I'm recording this. It is Friday and I have I'm trying to get it all done before I, you know, Tuesday comes around. I mean, eventually, <clears throat> sorry, eventually, as you guys are watching this video, I've already done that. But as of recording this voiceover, I'm just kind of in a rush to edit this and kind of get it out the way. It's kind of hard, especially if it's a very long video, but, you know, you kind of have to just roll with it <laughs> but yeah i was er, kind of going back to the paint by numbers i did in january i think that was the one that i wanted to do as a live stream yeah i think it was that one and this one i would be doing for a video i got that confused it's okay they're both videos so it's it's fine i really like this theme because it's like cabin in the forest and i just i really love this theme it's like really just <laughs> reminds me of the mountains and you know eventually I want to rent out a cabin up in the mountains and kind of stay there for a couple of days and just draw and just do whatever there that is like one of my things on my bucket list is just go to the mountains and stay there for a couple of days in a cabin I don't know if I'd either go during the summertime or winter time it just it kind of depends but we'll see in the future what I decide but I really like the colors in this they're really they're not bright i mean there are a few colors like the orange and yellow that are really really bright but i feel like that just ties it all together and makes this art piece look really good and with the greens i really like the greens in this because they're kind of i don't even know how to explain them but they're just like so perfect and it just has the right colors in it to make this piece what it is so i just i really enjoyed it i feel like i enjoyed painting this art piece more than the one that i did in january i think i did one like a couple of years ago as well that one was an okay painting i really liked how that one was more of like on a piece of i guess you could say cardboard like cardstock paper it was like really firm and almost like a cardboard texture except for not a texture but like you know what i'm talking about as of with this and the one that i did on uh, in january these are more of like on a fabric-y type of kind of like an, a canvas type of texture to it so yeah but i really like the one that i did at the first time i did a paint by numbers here on my channel which was again like i said a very long time ago if you want to go watch it go for it it's kind of cringy so i am warning you now but i really liked how these paint by numbers just turn out
so I would eventually want to do a color by number piece. This is, like I said, a paint by numbers where you paint it accordingly to the number that is on the paper and what is written on the paints. And I've actually seen, I think it was in Hobby Lobby or Joann's or somewhere where there is a color by number where you, I think you use colored pencils instead of paints. And I did do a uh, coloring by number a long time ago, not on my channel, just for the hex of it, just for fun when I was like a little kid with markers and so I feel like that'd be really fun to do as a video I don't know if you guys would want to see that like I said I really enjoy watching these videos even though it's not a piece that I thought of myself it's more of I'm painting somebody else's piece already if that makes sense but I just really love to see how it all gets filled out and it just looks perfect and whew, that's why I love doing these and I watch I literally binged watch people doing these. There's also those little diamond ones too where you put like diamonds according to the numbers or symbols that are on the page. I want to do that as well. There's so much that I want to do but I just have no time whatsoever to do big projects like this. I still have a painting that I started over a year ago and I remember because I started it on my mom's birthday. My mom's birthday is in February. She asked me to do a a portrait of her dog and I still haven't even had that done yet and it's been over a year so yeah but hopefully I can get that done soon like I said there's like literally no time for me to do any form of projects at the moment like I feel like it would be a while Till I do a project. I still have two projects that I'm currently working on. One of them is being that portrait of my mom's dog and then the other one is a secret which maybe eventually after I finish it, which might be in like a decade or two, you guys will know about it because I've even been working on that for like over a year as well because it's really time consuming. Hopefully I can get these big projects out of the way so I can start working on other big projects that I want to do for this channel but we will see how it all goes and oh just looking at this just makes it look so good. I just love it so much and I can't stop talking about it. Up close it kind of doesn't make sense but if you were to take the picture and like either tape it on your wall or kind of like put it somewhere far away and you kind of take a couple of steps back and you can just admire the picture and it just it looks amazing and I love it oh, I don't know I just <laughs> I'm very proud of this even though like I said it's not really a drawing that I thought of myself but I'm still it's turned out very well
like I said in the beginning of this video, super, super duper long video, but I still hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I can start making my videos a little bit longer, but I'm not sure if that can work out or not, depending on how my whole schedule is, but I will try my best because like I said, I want to make these videos great for you guys. I want you guys to enjoy it as much as possible. And so I will try my best. For now, I'm still uploading every two. Tuesdays and Thursdays, but like I said, that might change. It just all depends on how my life is going to be. So for now, I'm kind of stuck in school and I helped my brother out and I was supposed to get a job at a hotel, but then I decided to against it just because my schedule will just end up being all over the place and that's something that you know is gonna be kind of hard to deal with and yeah for now i'm there i just you know finish school and i'll be good to go <laughs>
I hope you guys have a wonderful and beautiful day. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. If you watched till the end of this video, give this video a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. That will help me a lot and that will support my channel even more. Yeah, I will be posting on Tuesday and Thursday of next week. I will see if I can try to live stream because I've had a couple of people ask me about that, but we will have to see how everything is planned out. I will guys, I will keep you guys updated on my social media, on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm thinking of live streaming on Instagram, but we will have to see about that. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much. Hope you have a good day, and I will see you in my next video.